Hi, my name is Meenrashi Fulkari and I'm going to make a tutorial on how to use Braintree Payment Gateway using Node.js and Angular. So let's get started. I would already assume that you already know how to create a Node server or a Node project. So this is my uh, basic uh, structure, file structure. I have this API folder and under this I have controller, uh, which I have the payment controller setup it's just a basic setup right so i've uh, used uh, this so that I, I could send a token I will, i'll come back to it later so uh, then i have this route so i'm just having this uh, uh, get post like uh, a get router so basically it's just a route for token to get the token i'll, I'll come back to it later as well I have env file just for the port number and all these things and uh, config file set up right over here so i've set up this uh, env for this and then the, this is the index file so in case if you uh, want to have a look say so this is what it looks like you can uh, copy and paste or uh, have a look at this uh, setup and then uh, or if you have your own, it's uh, uh, absolutely fine. So that's all right. So this is my packet.json. So this is what I have installed. Express.env cores and body parser. And that's it. There's nothing that I have used so far. So basically, if you run this npm start, it's going to start on the uh, 5000 local host. And... Uh, HTTP localhost 5000. Okay, if I go there, you see I have this, and if I go to the token, I have this. It's just a dummy token. Now, why is this token? Say, so, uh, let's get back uh, to the sandbox. So basically, Braintree is a payment gateway. Also, I, I want to say that um, I do not have any pay service for. Uh, the screen recording app so i may need to use every 10 minutes i'll have to take a break in every 10 minutes and come back so just bear with me for the time being in any way so uh basically at first i'll go to sandbox.braintree.com uh this is where all the developers should go and register first so if, if you're interested you could just go and sign up over here click the sign up page fill all the necessary uh, uh, data and just try the sandbox so uh, i already have it so i'm just gonna uh, go to the login here so uh, i went to the different one so it's going to it's for us it's sandbox.braintreegateway.com i'm just going to the login Okay, and then I'll basically go to my developer doc, just to explain a bit. So basically, uh, when you go to get started, and uh, hover down a bit, and uh, you see the, these are, this is very simple. There are two steps. One is just to set up a client server and one to set up a simple server, which is the, which is basically Node.js and Angular. You could do it in different ways, uh, using different platform as well. So the first thing that you need to know that this is the first step. So from the, this is what it's saying, your front end request a client token from your server and initialize the client SDK. What it means is from the Angular, I'm going to send a request to my server Node.js. So the Node.js is going to generate a token and then it's going to return it to the server. So it's going to get that token back, which is the step number two. So your server generates and send a client token back to your client using the server SDK. Okay, so this is the first two steps. The second, the third step would be the customer submits the payment information, which means the customer submits all the credit card data and stuff, and the client SDK communicates the information to Braintree over here and then returns the brain tree basically returns a nonce which is another object right so once it receives that nonce it is going to request back to our 
Node.js server, which is this step four. So your front end sends the payment method nonce, which is which you got from the uh, Braintree server to the Node.js. And then your server code receives the payment method nonce and then uses the server SDK to create the transaction. So with that nonce, it communicates with the Braintree server verify all the data and send the confirmation. So that is basically the whole process. So we are going to start with the uh, server end first. So I'm going to go and go to the silver simple server over here. So uh, you see here, you could make it in Java, .NET, PHP, Python, Ruby. I'm going to do it in Node.js. So the first step that you need to do is simply npm install the brain tree. So I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to uh, say npm install Braintree and then just install it, right? So it's installed already. So it's, it's just a very small file actually. So I'm going to clear this out and then I'm going to go back and see what I'm going to do next. And then it these are the part that needs to be done. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my payment controller over here. I'm going to say, I'll just, okay. Yeah, that's, that's better, I guess. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, uh, const then brain tree, brain tree, equals to require brain tree that's it right and then it's gonna ask me to get all this so i'm gonna copy and paste this is basically all the tokens everything that you would receive after you register so i have them all over here in my account so all you need to do is go to this api and then you have the public key. If you press this button, you're going to have a private key as well. So uh, instead of copy and pasting over here, I'm just going to go and go to my ENV file and just going to uh, type in uh, maybe merchant ID equals uh, basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy and paste. I have it copy it and copy and paste and I'm going to paste it over here and you should have the same just remember you should have this uh, equal sign and that's it so save this close it and then I'm going to go to the config I'm going to have it over here as well so uh, I'm going to say like for example uh, merchant ID and then I'm going to say public uh, key and then private key I guess this is where it is right let's check that out one more time public key and private key that's fantastic so basically I'm including this to my process.env and then I'm going to make uh, object I'm going to make an object and just say merchant ID is going to be merchant ID and then I'm going to say uh, public key is going to be public key and then private key is going to be private key that right so I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna go back to let's close all this config index and payment routes it's it's just a get method just to get the token right okay so I'm gonna come back here I'm gonna uh, say const and then brain tree config I'm just gonna name it right so require so the config file is in over here and I'm going to say 
braintree config dot braintree at merchant id that's it and then i'm going to say braintree config dot braintree dot public key and then for this I'm going to say braintree config dot braintree dot private key it's a private key let's let's uh, sorry so private private So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna say it again. Brain tree config dot brain tree dot private key. That's it. I'm gonna save it and then is go back and see what I'm gonna do. Okay, so what it asks is basically send a client token to your client. So it's the app dot get is basically um, I've created this get token service. So uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste this part and paste it over here right so i'm um, for the time being i'm just going to get a log of this response all right so basically i'm saying gateway dot client token dot generate and then it's gonna uh, give us something a response and i'm gonna see what's in there right so npm start let's see what happens so it started let's go to the ipa token and press enter and you see i have a success and i have a client token so this is important so what i'm going to do i'm going to say if my response dot status this is this is what it says that it says success success is true then I'm going to uh, return a token so I'm going to return this response response.send which is a response I'm just going to send a response okay my mistake right so if I go and just say clear npm start and let's see what happens. So if we go, so I have this client token. So it's a success, and I have this client token. Wonderful. So this is the first part, and this is what we need to do. And uh, I'm, I'm, I can just say I. Because sometimes, uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah. So uh, if, if there is anything that we need to figure out, we can do it later as well. Uh, so this is the first part. So let's go back to the, uh, what else we need to do over here. Okay. So this is what you need to do for receiving a payment. So you need to add a post request. So I'm going to do that over here. Let's say request response and next. And then uh, let's create this. Say it says const. Mm. I'm going to say it says, I'm just going to copy and paste this part. All right, but then I'm going to come back. So to create the transaction, now we need to have this copied. I'm just going to copy and paste this part. All right, we don't need this for the time being. It's just uh, having a dummy part. So with the result, basically, uh, okay. At first, I'm going to comment it out. Also comment this part out, and we are going to see 
uh, what we are going to get as a respond. Sorry, as a body, right? Request a body. Okay. Right. So this is so far what we need to do from here. Okay. Just this simple thing, and then we need to add it over here, which is a checkout, and we need to add to our routes as well. So route at the post, let's check out it's there, and we need to add check out. Sorry, check out. Yeah. So now we have added this as well. So if we go clear this out, npm start. Um, then we, I should actually have uh, uh, that part too. So if, if I go and say check out, it won't work right now because it's a post request. So basically, yeah, that's it. That's it so far what we need to do for the uh, server. And I'm going to create another terminal. So it's basically on the other side, and I'm gonna say, let's go to the Angular, Angular. Okay, so get started. What we need to do to create an app is uh, get started. Okay. First, we need to install. Let's install it. And then we need to say ng new. It's going to be, uh, let's name it bt angular. Yeah, so I wouldn't really need the strict uh, or anything right now. So routing, I would say yes. For the time being, I just go with the CSS and let's see. Yeah, so basically something happened, right? So it says uh, there are some conflicts. So what I'm going to do and conflicts is basically with uh, this Jasmine, right? So here, the dev Jasmine. So uh, I'm just going to find out uh, which is uh, Jasmine core. Just been core, npm just been core, right? I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste it with this legacy peer depths. Sorry, peer depths. But first, I think, yeah, what I need to do, I, I think I need to go to that folder. And then I'm going to say with legacy peer depths is going to install with the legacy on it. So let's see if it works. That's going to take some time to install. So after it is installed. I'm just going to say clear and then ng serve. Let's see what happens. Uh, no, not really. So it's building. Now it says it's uh, done. So it's on the 4200. So I'm just going to go say localhost. 4200 right here so let's clean it up a little bit I'm just gonna go to my source uh, app I'm going to the HTML part it, it's not bothering me right now so uh, it's fine so all I'm going to do is basically I'm going to keep this toolbar but I'm going to keep this content as well but I don't want to keep anything else after that so I'm 
just gonna go and delete all this so let's see what happens no did i do it right okay so i have this diff i have this diff and i have this footer i don't want it as well i don't want this one as well okay sounds good yeah seems good then i'm going to have this writer outlet just over here so this is what it looks like uh that basically i don't need uh this one i would just say home and maybe I don't want it. Uh, I really don't want this one as well. Uh, href, I would just say home, oh, maybe Twitter. Let's see if it can, it's coming or not. No, right now it's not coming. So. Uh, Say so style color white. There you go. And I'm gonna give it some padding. So padding would be zero twenty pixel. Yeah, that's it. And I'm gonna name another one. I'm going to say this one confirmation confirmation page. That's it. So here I have. We don't have any route right now, so I'm going to go to that module.route, but before that I'm just gonna create another terminal. I'm gonna go inside this uh, BT uh, Angular and then source app and then I'm just going to say NGT generate component and I'm going to name it uh, as a checkout page first and then I'm going to skip the tests enter it's going to generate the component and then i'm going to build another which is going to say uh, confirm page maybe confirmation that's it create these two things over here and i'm going to add them as uh, Um, the, the router basically so yeah. so I'm going to say over here I'm going to add a path and I'm going to say it's just a home page so it's with the component I'm going to have uh, check out check out cool and say maybe confirm page and i'm going to say confirm nation component so basically the path is ready all i need to do Yes. Uh, come back to my uh, app component.html and basically instead of href, I'm going to say router link equals to nothing. I just going to go back to that home and router link is equals to 
uh, say confirm. I guess this is uh, what I said. Yeah, that's it. So let's see. Let's confirm page home. It's working fine. Right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back uh, to this checkout page. Go to the HTML and let's uh, let's make something. Let's say let's just say uh, donation form. So I'm going to say don't form. It's going to take up a form with action. I don't really need right now. I'm going to say just uh, sorry. Add form equals to ng form. So it's gonna give me some error. I'm gonna come back to it and I'm gonna say ng submit. And I'm going to name something, right? But for this, it's basically saying the directory is not there. So what I'm going to do, uh, app module, I guess, app module.ts, and I'm going to add that uh, thing over here. So, which is basically forms module. That's it. So it's going to come right over here. So let's go back, and then. I'm also going to get to the checkout the TS component, the TS file. I'm going to add something so that I can write it over here. I just uh, say on submit form or something, maybe over here on submit form. And I'm going to make it say. Uh, Let's also add a model right over here. Just I'm just uh, rushing over, so just creating any just any object right now. So okay, so I'm gonna go back for over here. I'm just gonna say on oh, submit form. I'm gonna add this here as well. So within the form, basically, I'm going to create an input right so what it should have uh, the type should be just go with the number for the time being and name should be maybe don donation amount maybe and class I should give like input uh, button for the time being and I'm going to bind it say and the model I'm going to bind it with model dot maybe the amount right so So basically, I'm just going to serve. Do we need to serve? And it should clear out all the part. If there is any confusion, because I don't see any errors. Um, also going to go with the button. Uh, just going to say submit button. And basically, I'm going to add something called type type should be a submit type yeah so uh, let's see what I should do yeah cool I'll just let's say let's uh, let's go back over here let's add something like uh, have an something called error message should be any and should have a status let's say false 
also the message should be no i'm gonna come back to it order uh, maybe success if there is any order success right now it's false or maybe open payment i'm gonna come back to this as well so i'm gonna make it false as well right so with the submit basically i don't want to show anything right now i don't want to process it if if there is nothing right so i'm just gonna say if this dot model dot uh, amount is not equals to undefined because it's gonna come as undefined if there's nothing and then percent this dot model dot amount is more than zero it has to be more than zero then i'll come back over here and i'll just say mm, maybe this dot uh, open payment is going to be true so okay or else what i'm going to do is this dot error message dot status sorry status is going to be false right sorry no as i've said this true uh, should be true and this dot error message dot message should be maybe just say please enter an amount to donate yeah that's it okay cool so let's see what we can do over uh, here let's after this um, four maybe I'm going to you know, after this uh, yeah maybe after this form I'm going to uh, p tag and say it's going to render error message dot message but it's going to render this message only if the error message error message dot status is going to be true right so if i express this it comes here right okay awesome so i'll basically uh, uh let's just say let's have a class name i'll just say style equals to color let's have it crimson oh wonderful awesome okay so let's see what i'm going to do next i'm going to create a setup plan so what it says i'm not going to come over here basically what i'm going to do i'm going to look for ng brain tree let's see npm there you go ngx brain tree sorry and i'm going to uh, it's a nice one basically it, it reduces all the work npm install so i'm going to copy this i'm going to come back to uh, over here and yeah so i'm going to say Install and I'm going to say legacy peer maybe this one let's see let's see what I had before forget okay let's just install it first and see it's going to give uh, some problem there we go yeah peer depth sorry so i'm just gonna say legacy peer depths and it should install it fine and 
then you should go back what you need to include is basically here so basically you need to include this I'm going to go back to my module.ts I'm going to have it uh, going to say sorry uh, it needs ngx brain tree module yeah add it over here and also it asked me to http client client module so I'm gonna include this too uh, then Come back here. I'm going to stop it and basically copy this part. Come back over here and I'm going to say ng container. I'm going to paste it over here. It's going to give me an error right now, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this part, come back over here, paste it, and yeah. Okay. So that sounds good. I'm going to, uh, going to say log, maybe uh, maybe oh, there is an event to add as well. Maybe I'm just going to say uh, event. Just log the event right now. All right. So I'm going to go back over here. See, it's already gone. Uh, I need an amount, so maybe the amount is uh, yeah, model dot amount, and this too I already know because we have already created from our API. If you remember that, yeah. So if you remember the API uh, where we have it, so there you go. I guess yeah token right so this is what is required so I'm going to copy this for the time being and paste it over here right and then for this part I'm going to copy paste this one and I'm going to say check out all right also I'm going to say over here if, if, if you remember I have this thing called open payment so I'm just gonna go back here and say a n g if this is true then you show this so let's go back ng serve okay Here we go. So currently it's closed. So if I'm going to submit this form, okay. yeah, so it's already should be open. So if I just press this, it won't cover. See, make sure the client tokens JSON response should show token underscore this. Okay, so. Here is another thing that we need to figure it out. So we need to go back to the controller and see if we have a response, say. Okay, so we have a response right over here. And the response was basically client token. But right now, the error is make sure the client JSON response looks like this. So what I'm going to do I'm going to say should be response dot client token 
but it should cover as a come up as a token so if i go back and just do you could install node bound and it could actually do it automatically i don't have to reset all the time so if i say so now it should work if i go back and submit see the payment comes right okay so now is the tricky part uh if, if you go back over here and if you're setting up a client you're going to see that they're going to ask you for this brain tree to drop in dot create not this one okay that's a long process right but uh Client, yes, it's the client. Okay. Okay, to so get a client token. Okay, I'm getting a client token right now, so I've already got it. And send the payment method nonce to server. So this is all this what you needed to do. I'm not gonna go over that, I'm gonna look at this part. So there it says that there should be request to get a client token and there should be here is the nonce right but i we don't really know how it's going to accept it so let's see what we have over here we have the request the body so if if you go there and there, there's a number for it uh, there's a test card numbers for brain tree if you search that here maybe there you go so just pick any numbers uh, I will actually choose this number is the easiest I guess so I'm gonna go over here paste it it should 21 and just going to say let's let's have let's say bye so here it comes as a nonce and charge amount so I'm going to copy and copy this part I'm going to stop this one I'm going to come back over here I'm going to paste it over here because from the document that they have they say that it should have this from the request body but it's not coming it this way it's coming this way right so I'm just going to say this is the nonce uh, I'm going to say request a body right over here so I'm going to uh, remove that part right yeah I'm just going to say request a body over here and uh, then I'm going to uncomment this one with the amount we already know that's the charge amount so I'm gonna say nonce from the client dot charge amount so I'm just gonna copy this one paste it over here and the payment method should be this one dot nonce nonce from the client sorry from that nonce so that should do the trick on the result I would just say uh, log result maybe also I'm going to send the result as well right so uh, just come back over here I'm going to wrap up this as well so I don't need them anymore going to say npm starts it's running again let's see what if what happens so uh, I'm also in the component of TS uh, what I'm going to do is basically come back over here there's a submit form 
So when you submit this happens and also I'm going to say this one if it is true I'm going to make it false again and we said it okay and then with this one I'm going to say if let's uh, log the event first right Okay, so uh, just come back over here, edit console. I hope you can see right now. I'm gonna say 34 submit four all ones and zero three twenty two maybe. So, so I have a transaction which is a success and transaction right so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go back I'm going to say if event dot success is true then oh, okay uh, I also need a constructor for this so I'm just going to add in a private router so I'm just going to say over here, private router, maybe, or maybe route should be a router. This is, should be from the Angular router over here. And then I could just say this dot route dot uh, navigate. Navigate by URL. Navigate by URL. I'm going to say where, which is a confirm nation page. Just routing, routing. Yeah. So. This is where I want to go. So just go back over here to say that. That's it. So on the uh, controller part, which is the payment controller on the API, I'm just going to log a uncomment this. I mean, comment this out. I'm actually going to remove this from here and say start it's running again so let's run this so let's have a two fifty dollars of transaction and it's going to say four one 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 okay so whatever let's say zero one okay it's not working because it's a past date so I need to say something in future there you go the confirmation works so basically what it says if i go to the confirmation page then basically uh, what i should say rather than having this maybe a confirm container and then i'm going to have an h4 and saying maybe thank you for making donation and I'm going to say we have received your payment successfully okay great so it should work let's try it again let's have a amount of 350 and then let's say add in my card number and just say 021 and bye great so that's it i think uh going through all the uh, brain tree document is was a bit uh, lengthy and it, it it's a lot of codes but using this ngx uh, brain tree is much more easier so that's why uh, i created this tutorial i hope it helps thank you so much for watching all this so uh,